you know, the Slingshot program, which is our primary product, we started that back in 1999. This is 10 years now since we started that deal. Uh, and that's a product that gets people started, uh, showcases talent like some of the race car drivers here we have today, Billy Van Ilwigen, uh, Tyler Potts, uh, the Gary Hebers, uh, those type of people. Uh, started in my Slingshot program and now moved into our Speedsters, which you see here today. The Speedster product is basically, you know, the way I look at it is, there's no reason why a professional race car driver like a Brett Hearn or Billy Pouch, even a Steve Kinzer, needs to put a show on with an $80,000 race car. You know, we can come and put the same show on with a $17,000 race car, then race car drivers can get paid like human beings, not circus performers. So this car that we're looking at right here is how much? $17,000? There's $17,000 ready to go racing. That's the whole car motor and everything. You can buy a spare motor for $5,500. Uh, and believe me, there are cars that will challenge you. You know, they, they race a lot like a small block modified would, you know, speed wise. Um, you know, we run on steel wheels, they're sealed motors, uh, manual steering, something like you've never seen for years. It's got a Schroeder manual steering. And, you know, and, and once again, those are things that we tried to do to make sure the dude behind the wheel is making a difference. You, you got to want to do it. You know, we had a lot of grumblings from the racing community, but I'm. I'm not out there to make people happy. I'm out. I'm out there to make the sport better and, and actually have guys, you know, like a bull rider, like I said, like the USAC guys, the ruts and guts guys. That, you know, you got to really want to do it. And and I believe the speedsters, you know, really showcase their talent at a, you know, at a fraction of the cost of comparable vehicles. You know what? I was really in press today about the speed that you guys are getting around this track because I thought you'd be slow. You were, you're fast, okay? Yeah. And you do have wings on them though, but they're small. Do you ever run without the wings? Uh, no, we don't. I mean, the main reason we put the wing on there is a couple reasons. You know, if you ever seen, I'm sure you did, a non-wing race car flip, they flip pretty violently. There's nothing to slow the inertia down. You know, so we, we wanted to put something there if that occurs or some type of crush, something to slow it down. Number two, we just needed to create a, a, a marketing identity for our product. You know, that way when you see this, you know it's a speedster. It's the only one thing with a goofy wing on it. You know, so, uh, but we didn't want to create, you know, much downforce, side force, any of that. We, we want a car that, that sets on a racetrack, skids around a lot, and, and, and you got to drive them. You really do. You know, it, it's, it's a handful. You both run on the dirt and the asphalt. What's the difference with this car? Do you run the same car? Do you have another car that you run? No, nah, same car, just different tires. You know, we go from the, our asphalt tires to our dirt tires. That's it. And uh, you don't change the torsion bars or any of the suspension? No, they have, they have availability of three valvings of shocks. They're all Bilstein shocks. You have three valvings to play with and four rate coil springs to play with. That's it. Everything else comes down to their adjustments. It takes you, I mean, two guys and... You know, in about a four or five hour session at night, can switch a car from dirt to asphalt. You know, like you see us here today, next week we'll be on the high banks of Woodhall Speedway down the road. You know, and, and that's cool, man, to take these kids and these drivers to take them from here to asphalt to dirt, you know, uh, multiple facilities. It just, you know, it really rounds their talent. You know, like back in the day when, you know, the old Stranger Law, when, uh, you know, when Richie Evans ran there, you know, and that's what the people in Oswego used to say. I mean, you know, your Jimmy Champines, the Richie Evans, they used to run dirt and asphalt. Oh, they you know jumped I mean? back and forth. Yeah. Exactly. And my dad did. We ran, my dad ran Hershey Stadium and, you know, and Reading and all those places. And, and that's what you used to do. And, you know, I want to get back to that. I want to get back to where, you know, I'm a dirt track guy. But when I go run Oswego with these cars, I might run against Pat Abel or Gosick. So I'm a dirt guy, they're asphalt guy. But when Joe Gosick... You know, and able and those type of people have to run Sealand's Grove Speedway or Woodhull. Now, you know, it's back in my game. It's in you your know, turf. Yeah, so yeah. you have the rivalries between the two groups, and, and, you know, it's been years since you've seen that, and that needs to happen. How do uh, people get a hold of you on getting involved in this type of racing? Uh, there's a couple ways. Certainly, number one's, uh, you know, the Internet, uh, speedster.biz or slingshotbytobias.com. Uh, those are the two ways, Internet. You know, phone number will be 717-866-7450. Um, you know, give us a call if you're interested. You know, if, you, if you're looking at what we have, it makes sense. you got a talented kid out there that, you know, you need to showcase some good talent in front of good people against good race car drivers. Hey, you know, give us a shout. And, you know, and, and something else, too, I'd like to thank the group here from Shangri-La Speedway. You know, to have a guy willing to put his neck out to do this in today's economy, the status of motorsports is just incredible, and he, and he built an awesome facility, and I hope he does well.